unit 20 lesson reaching the age of adolescent the book pack answers papa take page number 241 choose the best answer first one adolescence is the period of life between dash years of age option c 11 to 19 then second question the period at which an organism attains sexual maturity is called puberty. Option A, answer. Next third one. During puberty, the region below the waist becomes wider in both A and B. Option A, option C is the answer. Then fourth one. Adam's apple is the growth of the dash. Larynx. Option C larynx fifth one many adolescent boys and girls get pimples on face due to the secretions of das gland none of these sixth one the sperm is produced by tests option uh, d is the answer seventh one das are the chemical substances Secreted by en endocrine glands. Answer A. Hormones. Eighth one. Androgen production is regulated by DAS. LH hormone. Ninth one. During menstruation, the, the progesterone level is. Option A. Answer is. Option C. Ceased. Tenth one. DAS intake needs to be increased. To prevent osteoporosis in later life. Option D. Calcium. Second Roman letter. Fill in the blanks. First one. Das is secreted by the ovaries of female. Estrogen. Second one. The hormones secreted by the gonads are controlled by anterior pituitary. Third one, milk secretion during lactation is controlled by DAS hormone, prolactin hormone. Fourth one, the male and the female gamete fuse together and form DAS zygote. And fifth one, the first menstrual flow begins at puberty and, it's, and it is termed as menarche. Sixth one, DAS usually occurs 14 days after ovulation, menstruation. Then seventh one, DAS includes protein, carbohydrates, fats and vitamins in request proportion, balanced diet. Eighth one, DAS help to prevent thyroid gland related disease, iodine. Iron deficiency leads to anemia. Next to 10th one, in women fertilization takes place at DAS, fallopian tube. Next to um, Roman letter, third one, state true or false, a false correct this statement. First one, there is a sudden increase in the height of both boys and girls during puberty. The answer is true. Second one, the release of ovum from the uterus is called ovulation. False. Third one, during pregnancy, the corpus luteum continues to grow and produce large amount of estrogen and progesterone. The answer is true. Fourth one, making use of disposable napkins or tampons may increase the um, chances of infection false fifth one using clean toilets for defecation is a good practice the answer is true then fourth roman letter match the following property property sexual maturity adam's apple uh, change in voice androgen androgen muscle development icsh icsh uh, testosterone menopause menopause at 45 to 50 years of age 
Next fifth Roman letter answer in briefly. First one, what is adolescence? Uh, take page number 232 and this is an important question. The adolescence and puberty. La. First one, the term adolescence is derived from the Latin word adolescere meaning to grow or grow to maturity up to this first question answer. Then second question, list out the changes which occur during puberty. Take page number 233. Body changes at puberty la the points. First point, changes in body size. Changes in body proportion. Then third point, development of primary sex characteristics. Then fourth one, development of secondary sex characteristics. Up to this second question answer. Third question, what do you mean by secondary sex characteristics? Page number 242. Third question would answer. The characters which help to distinguish from male from the female. The third question would answer. Next fourth question. What is fertilization? 243. The fusion of the sperm and ovum is called fertilization. Fifth question. Explain Menachi. Take page number 236. 236 la Menachi paragraph. The first menstrual flow begins at puberty and is termed Menachi. The ova begin to mature with the onset of puberty it is the beginning of adolescence during which mental and emotional maturation occurs and physical growth becomes pronounced up to this fifth question and answer sixth question explain the process of pregnancy take page number 236 pregnancy after ovulation the ovum reaches the Fallopian tube and fertilization takes place. The fertilized egg undergoes development and it is implanted in the uterus. The corpus luteum continues to grow and produces large amount of progesterone. This result in pregnancy. Normally, it lasts for 280 days, at the end of which patrician takes place. Up to this sixth question or answer. Then seventh question. Explain the importance of cleanliness during the time of menstrual cycle in girls. Take page number 238. Menstrual hygiene. Girls should take special care of cleanliness during the time of menstrual cycle. Making use of disposable napkins or tampons may reduce chances of infections. First of all, girls should realize that menstruation is as natural as any regular physiological activities like breathing, drinking, eating, urinating and defecation. Girls are advised to use sanitary napkins or tampons rather than cloth. It should be changed frequently depending upon the menstrual flow. If a cloth is being used repeatedly, it should be cleaned with soap and hot water and dried in sunlight for reuse. Up to this Seventh question answer. Then eighth question. How is adolescence differ from childhood? Answer. Childhood is unmatured age. Adolescence is the age of maturity physically and mentally. Up to this eighth question answer. Then sixth Roman letter answer in detail. First one, what are the physical changes that occur in boys and girls during adolescence? Take page number 234 and 235 and it's an important question. 
in this paragraph secondary sex characteristics la secondary sex characteristics are the physical features which distinguish male from female idu varaikku first point eldikenga abbe next page next page la the tabular column uh, secondary sex characteristics in boys and girls girls and boys the height and weight increases for boys height and weight increase then girls fatty and sub subcutaneous tissues develop in boys muscles develop girls hip broadens boys shoulders broadens uh, then girls hair grows in arms pits and uh, pubic area then boys hair grows in the arms pits and pub pubic area and facial hair also up appears then girls voice becomes shrill and boys voice break takes place due to lengthening of vocal cord and enlarging of larynx then girls breast develops then boy size of the penis increases up to this first detail answer then second question explain the role of hormones in reproduction take page number 236 the role of hormones in reproduction la first paragraph the primary hormones that regulate reproduction are the steroids such as androgens estrogens and progesterones which have a masculine uh, masculinizing feminizing and gestational effects respectively these hormones are sec- secreted from the gonads uh, which are regulated by the anterior pituitary pituitary adenohypothesis idvarikku eldikanga next follicle stimulating hormones fsh F- fsh in the female influences the development of the graafian follicle and secretion of estrogens in the male it is necessary for the development of seminiferous tubules and for um, spermatogenesis id varaikku eldikanga next point luteinizing hormone lh in the female it is the hormone necessary for ovulation and the secretion of the luteal hormone pro- progesterone and for the final maturation of the graafian follicle in the male it stimulates the interstitial uh, cells of testes and the secretion of testo testosterone and is referred to as the interstitial interstitial cell stimulating hormone icsh idvarik eldite next point vende axtosin hormone axtosin causes expulsion of milk from the breast and it also involved in the contraction of smooth muscles of uterus during child birth up to this uh, second detail oda answer third question briefly describe the menstrual cycle take page number 237 and 238 first point when a girl reaches puberty at the age of about 10 the sex hormones released into her blood cause some of the ova or egg cells in her ovaries to become mature or rip second point usually one mature ovum or egg is released from one of the ovaries into the oviduct once in every 28 days this is called ovulation third point before ovulation or release of ovum the inner wall of the uterus becomes thick and spongy and full of tiny blood vessels for blood capillaries it prepares itself to receive the fertilized ovum fourth point if the ovum does not get fertilized then the thick and soft inner 
lining of uterus is no longer needed and hence it breaks so the thick and soft inner lining of uterus along with the blood vessels and the dead ovum comes out of the vagina in the form of a bleeding called menstruation then in the next page then fifth point menstruation usually occurs 14 days after ovulation and usually lasts for about 3 to 5 days then sixth point after menstruation is over the inner lining of the uterus starts building up again so that that it may becomes ready to receive the next ovum then seventh one if the ovum does not get fertilized even now then menstruation takes place again the cycle of menstruation is repeated again and again in women after every 28 days the menstrual cycle is controlled by hormones up to this third detail answer then fourth question explain the nutritional needs of adolescents in brief take page number 239 and this also the important question page number 239 la nutritional needs of adolescents uh, adolescence is a stage of rapid growth and development hence a diet with proper calories and other nutrients is needed for proper growth and physical activity balanced diet is very much important during adolescence balanced diet include proteins carbohydrates fats and vitamins in requisite proportions our indian meal of roti rice dal pulses milk fruits and vegetables form a balanced food the nutritional deficiencies during this period not only um, retard the physical growth but also impair the intellectual development and may also delay sexual maturation a very good amount of proteins and carbohydrates is necessary during this growth period apart from that adolescents needed the following dietary components then then the heading minerals in detail since there is an increase in skeletal mass and blood volume during adolescence the body needs calcium phosphorus and iron then calcium calcium intake needs to be increased to prevent osteoporosis in later life it is present in milk and milk products or other equivalents id vare kelidikanga next vande iodine it help to prevent thyroid glands related diseases next iron iron build um, builds blood and iron rich foods such as green leafy vegetables jaggery meat dates fish chicken citrus indian gooseberry nelly and whole pulses are good for adolescents a lack of iron in the diet results in anemia to make up for the loss of iron adolescents needed to have a diet rich in iron in boys iron deficiency occurs due to muscle spurt whereas in girls it occurs due to menstruation in addition to the muscular growth up to this fourth detail answer